Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to our Fjordor community cluster. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So we got over 40 members on our servers right now, and one of the things I want to do is take a look at bases. Like I said, we got over 40 people, and there's some fantastic builders, man. A lot of bases I've been wanting to see, so what better way than to do a little bit of base tours? We've got about 20 people on the list that signed up for it, so it'll probably be two videos, because some of the bases are massive, and our first one is actually right here behind us here. Go ahead and stop in. We'll do a quick run around, see what they got kind of set up. Their doors should be open. Really hope they're open. But it's a nice way to see some different base designs and stuff because you kind of get stuck in your own way of building sometimes, right? And we don't really have any mods on here for building except for Eco's Pack, which kind of has some of the spike walls you see there. Everything else is kind of vanilla, so it's kind of a kind of need to get some ideas. Go ahead and turn that off. Looks like we got some feather raptors out here, a bunch of fences that kind of keep stuff safe. Some snow owls. I still got to get some of those myself. I do like the paint on the structures, too. That's something I never do that I always want to. Got some of the Eco's Viking pack set up. Looks fantastic. Overlooking the water. I like it. I like it. Got quite a bit going on down here, too, with some... I like this, man. I like it. So it's kind of down below the other base for your crafting and stuff. It's nice, man. It's nice. Got the gates and everything. Ah, uh, dude, I really got to paint my stuff. Never thought about painting the gates. Doors are open. I'm used to uh, having to open mine. A lot of people use the automatic ones. We got some preserving bins. Looks like a little living area, fireplace. Nice and cozy. I like it. I like it. Do we have a second floor? We do. I brought Wingman just in case. Oh, I can't use the ladder. It's okay. That's why I brought Wingman. <laughs> we got the beds and everything up here. Looks like they're <laughs> they're kind of sleeping. Ah, dude, got the cinema crops. I'll tell you what, man. They run the place. That's how it is everywhere. That one. Laid an egg. Nice, nice. A little bit of breakfast. All right. Well, well, I'll leave you guys here, man. I like it. I like it. I like the wood design, too. I've been doing a lot of my bases with the wooden thatch, as you kind of noticed, too. And then the trophies. Oh, dude, I like them, too. That's part of the Eco's mod pack as well. Yep. Automatic doors. It's a nice little base in the side of the cliff. Is there anything else up here? I don't want to miss something. Oh, we do. We got the greenhouse. So how do you access this? Is it through the roof, I think? We'll get up here and see how you access this properly. I like the glass design on it, too. Nice and tinted. All one kind of look. You can remove the seams and stuff. we got our crops in here, too. Don't step on them, man. Don't crush them. Don't crush them. What is the proper way? Oh, it's back here. Nice, man. Nice. Something else I never do with these stairs is turn them different directions. I saw some people that do them down like this and then spiral them the other way. It looks, it looks super nice, man. Super nice. But... I like when bases are built into the side of cliffs like this. Always adds a nice feel to it, right? You got that terrace look. That's kind of how I do some of my bases, but I do mine mainly on flat land. I like to look at maybe doing one on the side of a, uh, kind of like a cliff like this, right? Without using the cliff platform. I like it, man. I like it. However, like I said, we have a ton of bases, so we are on to our next stop. Fantastic build, though. This next base is over here, right on the edge of the Redwoods. I'll show you on the map. I should have showed you where the first one was. The first one was over there around 3229, kind of over by that little island where we first started our base. This one's going to be right here on the edge of the Redwoods, all the way on the far right there. Kind of see us turning around. Nice place, right by a waterfall. Pretty excited about this one as well. It's one I've been seeing her build for a long time, ever since she started on it. And I've been trying not to peek inside, man. Kind of, uh, kind of curious. Let's go ahead and pick you up, just in case. There's a lot of stuff that is not safe out here. It's one thing about building in the Redwoods. Awesome landscape, but it is definitely not friendly. So we got a bunch of our crops. I like it. I like it. As soon as you come in, everything's labeled. Nice and sorted out. It's nice seeing greenhouses that are not just one big stack building too, right? A little bit different and stuff. What are these? Those are the plant species. And we got the <laughs> compost bins. Got them all locked up because they smell. I like it, man. I like it. In we go. We got a pterodon in here. We got some other tames. Kind of like a little barn, it looks like. Some storage. Nice. Nice. Very big area. I haven't seen a barn that's kind of inside like this, too. Got some more paint on the walls and stuff, too. Again, that's something I really need to do on my bases. What is out here? Ah, more of the base. We'll come back to there. Let's go ahead and finish looking in here. We got some of our cinnamon crops, so I think they're up like this, so you can see the eggs, right? Is that so the eggs drop down? I think that's how that works. Not too sure. I'll have to ask. I think that's why they're kind of set up like that, or maybe the eggs roll off. At the sea, man, it's kind of a neat design. I like it though. Little indoor 
dino storage. Much safer, too. We got a door over there. Let's check this door first. Yep. Automatic doors. My bad. My bad. Oh, we got the beehive. Okay. We got the lovely waterfall. Oh, dude. Got the foundations out here, too. Kind of wraps around. Oh, I like it, man. I like it. And that's up on pillars, too. I didn't notice that at the start. And it goes all the way to the end. Oh, that is nice, man. That's the thing about waterfalls in Ark. They look fantastic. However, they are very, very loud. I think she has her base set up where it's just out of range, too. It is. Oh, that is nice. Yep. Sorry. Open, close. Open, close. I'll get it. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it right one of these days. There we go. Oh, that is nice. Man, it's like an outdoor fireplace and stuff. I like it, man. I like it. A lot more of eco stuff. I'm telling you, man, it is fantastic having her mods on here. Let's do... Let's go down this way first. We'll come back up here. Well, let's, let's, let's do this up here first. That's the thing, man. When the bases are big, I don't know where to start. It's like a self-guided tour today. Oh, the taming pen. Interesting. Maybe that's the generator room there. It's your usual standard trap here. I like it. Oh, it's kind of spaced out too with the, the railings. Interesting. Looks a lot better too. There's a lot of stuff around the redwoods. So it's, uh, oh, we're outside too. Oh, so you can kind of grab everything, kite it right in. Is there a different size for the pins and stuff? This one goes out to here, okay. I think we're using the gates instead of walls. It uses a lot less structure pieces. Kind of like it. And our generator, nice and protected. I like it. I like it when people have generator rooms. It just <laughs> adds a little bit of something to stuff, you know? I like the taming pin, though. That is fantastic. The only thing, I mean, I know she built it, so she would know which door. I would get confused. I'd have to paint that one a different color. It's a, <laughs> it's a pterodon, man. It's a pterodon. Like I said, we're in the redwoods. This one is different. Why is it different? Because it's a tree. Okay, can't go in that one. Copy that. Ah, I like it, man. I like it. This is another taming pin. Not sure what for. You can probably grab something, drop it in here, and then you got your way to trank them through here, right? I like it, man. Nothing like having a, you know, like a base built where you can do taming right there at it. Oh, yeah, small taming pin. Look at the signs, man. Look at the signs. But it's nice having the stuff right here to do taming right at base. Is this open? It is. It's a very large door. Big behemoth gate. So we got a second generator over here. It almost looks like a security camera on top. I'm just saying, the way that the box is, it's kind of neat, kind of neat. So what do we have here? Is this the egg hatching room? It is a hatching area. All the ACs, interesting. So the S plus ones, if you didn't know, will fit in the windows. They're kind of smaller, right? Not as big, and they fit directly in them. It's kind of nice, a very nice addition. And I wonder what the insulation is. It's pretty good. You're like up at 5,000 on both here. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, I like that. I'm going to have to steal this design. I'll borrow it. I'll borrow it. Looks fantastic. Nice area. Oh, dude. I like it a lot. And then, does this lead right back out? It does. We got a boat outside, too. Fantastic build, man. Really, really like it. Oh, wait. There's more to it. I, say, I thought it was taller. Wait. Were we up here? Let's see if I can double back inside. I thought it was taller than that. There's a whole upstairs I missed somehow. Yep, the doors, man, the doors. We're fine, we're fine. Did I miss it out here? I will wingman up there if I have to. There's something I'm missing. Aha, right here. I tell you what, I came up this way and looped around. It's not my fault, man, not my fault. I don't have a map. Ah, the main house up here. Nice, looks like she made us some breakfast. I'm just saying... Well, let's look out here before we go inside. We got some more of the cooking stuff. We've got the forges. Preserving bin. Is that an air conditioner? I think it is. Ah, oh, nice build, man. Nice build. I like it. I like the wood and the thatch. Oh, I really like it. Storage. You got your crafting stuff. You've got your refrigerators all labeled. I always forget to label mine, man. And then up here, too. Oh, she's taking a nap. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, dude, I like it. I like it a lot. Gonna have to take some of the designs too, man. I like the cliff build from the previous one, and I like a lot of the like the hatching area and stuff out of this one. Is there anything over here before I miss it? Preserving bins, nice. And then the windows looking inside. We got a patio outside. Did I miss that one? 
There's not a door to it. Let's fly over to it. It might just be... Oh, that's the top of this. Okay, that's what it is. Nice, man. Nice. Ah, dude. All right. We have to continue on. Like I said, I could be here all day at these bases taking a look at stuff. And I, <laughs> I probably will whenever I'm done recording. I'll come back and take a look at a lot of stuff. Where is... I tried to pick my dragon up, didn't I? Just for safekeeping, on to base number three. This next build is all the way at the north side of the map right here. You can't really see it because our finger's in the way. We are roughly at 060. That kind of puts you at the top of the map. That is where we are. So we land out here. This is one that has a lot of the stuff painted too. Really like the design and I couldn't figure out at first what it was for the roof tiles, but it's green and just the stone. Looks fantastic. It's a very, very large house. Actually, it looks like a house too, you know? So we've got our beer barrels outside. Nice, lovely floor to ceiling windows. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan of that myself. We got some paintings. Okay, okay. We got a very large work area. Wait, what is this? What is this? Is that... That might be actually part of... Wait, is that part of the mod? I don't know where that came from. Interesting. I'll have to ask about that. We've got... <laughs> we've got a vault full of stuff. I like it. I like it. We've got our forges and all that stuff. If you didn't know, we have all that kind of stuff kind of smaller on the server. Makes it very nice, man. You don't have to have a huge area for things. Over here, we got our fireplace. We've got a bunch of our refrigerators, our cooking stuff. Looks like our whole cooking area. We got a door back there we need to check. As you come out here, it looks like we have our hatching area and stuff. You got your nanny, the hatchery, the egg incubator. Then it's open, too. Kind of makes it nice, man. Easy to get in and out, you know? This is just a bigger door, I think, to go out. It is. And that is a dynamic gateway, I think, right? It's kind of smaller, but it has the big opening. Ah, super nice. Super nice! Out here, we've got some sheep. Probably some wool production, or maybe using it for taming for lamb chops. I like it. I like it. Let's check this door back in here before we go too much further. Ah, the generator room. Again, I like it when those are kind of tucked away, you know? Nice, big, and open area, too. Ah, dude, I like it. Some stairways going up. We've got our loadout mannequins. Looks like we got some blueprints. We've got... I'm not even sure what this is. I have no idea. Oh, a crystal cracker. Interesting. Never used one of them, but that is what that is. Might have to make one just for a... Kind of like a centerpiece, right? We got some item aggregators. We got the replicator and stuff. That goes up. Let's check over here. Let's try to do all in one level before we go up. Take sleeping pot. Looks like the bedroom. Interesting. That's a neat way to do some crop plots. Have some kind of like little house plants, right? Like it, man. I like it. Ah, dude, that is nice. Very simple. It looks very, very nice. Got to have the map up, man. Always got to know where you're going, where you're at, and where you're going. Kind of key things. I didn't even notice the floor it's painted, too, for your walkways. Interesting. So this was... I'm getting lost. Wait. That goes up. This goes back out here. It's a secret door! <laughs> We're back over here. Let's check over here, and we'll check the other way. This is part of the greenhouse, I think. Interesting. So we're almost on level land again. I like it, man. Again, the greenhouse is different than a normal build, right? How did you do the sides? I like that. That is very interesting. It's kind of hard to do different corners and pieces like that in Ark, you know? I mean, uh, you can't, obviously, but it's kind of hard to plan that stuff out. It uh, takes a little bit of uh, planning for sure. That looks awesome, though. I really like it. Really like it. We got the lights here, too. Nice, man. Nice. Lovely greenhouse. And it's open, right? You know me and doors, man. I don't like stuff to be, like, have too many doors and stuff. Especially on my single player. And this is all kind of open. I mean, it's closed in, but there's no doors to go through to get out to it. So I think we need to go over here to the stairs. This is all closed off, right? It is. Third story up here. Lovely window. Catch all that morning sun or evening. What time of day is it? It is evening. We got some storage. Now, how does... Why are mine always messed up looking? My rugs when I put them on stone. Is that because these are ceilings? Oh, dude, I'll have to do some experimenting with that. It's only one place it pokes through. It's one problem I have, man. With the foundations, your carpets always look really weird, right? Kind of pokes through all weird. But 
Looks like we got our dining room up here and stuff. Nice big table all put together. That's two of them kind of stacked next to each other. Some cabinets and stuff like that. I really like it. Oh, I really like it. And it's open. Oh, I thought this was open downstairs. It's still open for the light, though. I like it, man. I like it. Ah, oh, dude. Fantastic build. I do like the paints and stuff, too, on the, the tiles outside for your roof. That was the bedroom, right? It is. Very nice build. Very nice build. These last two builds, I think, uh, this one and the other one, they hit the item count limit. As you can see, it has definitely got a lot of details to it. So that's something we'll look at uh, changing maybe later on. Is that... I think that's a bedroom there. One, two, three. We did go all the way up. I don't want to miss anything, man. Don't want to miss anything. Let's double check back here, too. I think this was just the... Yeah, the taming pins and then the greenhouse. Oh, dude. That is fantastic, man. I really like it. Really, really like it. But we do have to move on. Like I said, we have quite a few to do. We are on to number four. And this one... So it's gonna be on an island all by itself. Next base on our list is kind of over here in between the volcano and then the aberration cave is right over there. Show you on the map. Maybe, possibly, there we go. Far right, all the way over there on the island. So we got some dragons outside, got a wall up just in case. Gotta keep your stuff safe. Oh, they're using one of the, or two of the eco stuff, right? It's the pre-mades. Off of the Viking mod. It's nice, man. Oh, they're nice. We've got the blacksmith, and I forget the name of this one, but that's the one I used in my Fjordor series, actually. Very nice build. Very nice. Lots of room in there for stuff. Let's start over here. We got some... Is that Argentavis? We do. Up on the roof. Safe place for him. We've got some water and food we need to drink. <laughs> and then we got some Shadow Manes out over here. Cool collars on them, man. A little bit of Shadow Mane breeding, huh? It's all right. I'm not doing anything bad. You guys are safe. Please don't eat me. See what we've got in the barn here. Some more shadow mains and a shine horn. I'll tell you what, man. It is not a base if you don't have a shine horn. Looks like a little hatching area. We've got the hatchery, the egg incubator. I like the stalls too, man. We got the nanny and stuff over here too. Nice, man. Nice. I always like that for doing that, right? Doing your breeding in. I think this is part of the actual, like the map that's out over here. We got our greenhouse. No auto doors. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I always get stuck. On the auto doors. We got our crop plots. We got our beehive. Gotta have a beehive, man. It's not a greenhouse without a beehive. And we've got our uh, fertilizer producer over here, huh, buddy? Yep, looking out the window at the shine horns. I tell you what, man. Must be some guard shine horns out here. Junior, you all right? Keeping an eye out. Oh, fantastic colors. Brown and blue. Nice, nice. Moving along. I will get stuck on the shine horns. We got some dragons out over here, too. Oh, and some rock drakes. Interesting. Cool colors on this one. That's a fire one too, right? That's, that's good colors. I mean, it is what it is, right? Interesting. We got some rock drakes. Another one of the guard shine horns. <laughs> hey, man, look. They're ferocious in packs. I'm just saying. Nice, man. Nice. Let's take a look at the main house. Some storage out here. Got some of the flags up. Nice cooking area. I like it. I like it. Wait, is this the... which one is this? This looks different than the one that I did. Maybe it's updated... an updated mod. The house is totally different than what I thought it was. Interesting. We've got another shine horn. I like it. Awesome colors. Fantastic. We've got our refrigerators, our crafting stations, and stuff like that. We've got a lovely feast waiting for us. Somebody's taking a nap. I like it. It's always good to have a bed when you have a window nearby, right? A little chippy down there, too. Another walkway to come up. What is out here? Ah, generator. <laughs> so I was talking about, man, I like the generator rooms. That is actually the perfect size for one, too. Surprise it all fit in there. What is up there? Nothing. Interesting. I think that's another doorway just blocked off, too. I like it, man. I like it. Ah, dude, that is nice. I like seeing the pre-made stuff, too, right? Because they're, it's a little bit different than building your own because you got to kind of work with what the... The actual structure has, right? It's nice, though. It's nice. I like it. The shine horns guard and everything. Dragons outside. Nice greenhouse. On to the next one. Oh, dude. This is not a good start to the next one. Yep, yep. Aberrant Raptor. We are in Vanaheim. Oh, I'll tell you what. I got something for you. Uh-huh. Get off my bad dude. This is why I don't like living in Vanaheim. <laughs> it is not safe. No, it's not safe for our next one. 
It's going to be right here. Uh, dude, that was quite the start on that one. So, we got a very <laughs> nice wall set up. I can see why, man. It's the Raptors. We've got a little boat out here. I like it, man. Very good backdrop. We've got our main base here. Looks like we've got our stables over here. And we've got a wall down over here, too. Make sure we don't miss anything whenever we go to look. Yep, another way in and out. Cool, so let's start over here. Start at the main base. I hope that the doors are open. The doors are locked. Check this side. Aha, the doors are open. Nice, man, nice. Very nice big open belt on the inside. Looks like we got a staircase for a second level. We've got some little chibis over here. Little shine horns, man. Ah, dude, I'll tell you what, me and the shine horns, we've got our fireplace. A nice little bench to sit down and stay warm by the fire. The floor to ceiling windows. I like them, man. Very nice view for this one, too. Fantastic location. We've got our blueprints. We've got some more stuff up there. Not too sure about that. Okay, okay. A little bit weird. <laughs> I think this is the generator room. It is going to be locked. This is actually the house of one of our mods. He's usually not around too much during the week, so all is good. We've got our refrigerators and stuff, our cooking area. We've got our crafting stuff and our vaults. I like it. I think this is the bedroom too, right? Yep. Little bedroom in there. I like it, man. I like it. It's like a two-story little building in the base. It's cool, man. It's cool. Nice and secure for when you're logged off. And we got our... We've got another feast, man. Tell you what. Everybody leaving out all these foods for us. Gonna make us sleepy afterwards. Take a look on the second level. We've got the greenhouse up here. We've got all the crop plots. We've got some plant species. We've got the beehives. A little storage locker. We've got some more crop plots up here. A good way to use a little bit more space, right? Because sometimes you want to have extra stuff, but you don't want to stack them on top or put a second row. So that's a, uh, that's a nice way to do it, man. It's definitely different. Haven't seen anything like that before. I think that's a catwalks, right? That you place them on. Might be locked as well. That just kind of goes outside. Looks like we got some more of the plant species out there. Kind of wraps around. I like it, man. I like it. It's nice. Having the greenhouse on top definitely cuts down on your space. Is this door open? We might have to go around. Oh, it is. Got some beer barrels out here. We've got our grill as well. Over here, we have one of the... Oh, man. One, <laughs> one of the areas for shine horns. We got some penguins, too. We will not talk about the penguins. We are staying away from them. However, this is kind of like the little Shinehorn Sanctuary. They do a lot of breeding on Shinehorns, obviously. Fantastic colors. I like it, man. I like it. Bunch of our soul terminals and stuff in our little hatchery. What is this? Not too sure what that is. That might be another generator, too. Got the ACs up top. Some feather raptors there. Actually, quite a few feather raptors. Good for egg production, right? For doing your kibble and stuff. I like it, man. It's a very nice little barn. I don't like the penguins, though. Yep, we have had issues with those in the past. We got a vault outside for... Ah, free wool. So he has a bunch of these sheep and stuff for the wool production. Kind of saves on having to farm it for whenever you go to Jotunheim. Making your fur armors. I like this, too. So this is one of his stables that has for... Like the jousting and stuff that we do. A lot of horses. And then he's got the dynamic pillars on the outside. It's kind of different, man. Changes up the look of stuff, too. We've got our stables in here. All the horses are put away, I think, because they're logged off for the week. But it looks very nice when they have them all out and stuff and doing breeding and have them in here. Ah, dude, it looks fantastic, man. Very nice. And speaking of jousting, it is getting towards nighttime. We have a jousting arena over here in the back. It's something we're kind of working on. But you got your whole setup over here. You got your two lanes for the jousting. That is high enough so you can ride your horse right up against it and not actually jump over it, right? Give you kind of like an aerial view. And then I can't remember if this is unlocked. It's not. But we got to set up for a generator here and then the lights come on, right? It rotates through for your green light and red light for doing your jousting. It's kind of neat, man. Kind of neat. We'll have more community events coming up here soon. It's something we've been working on, but that is our little jousting arena. And I think... Let's turn the lights up. I think that might be it. Let's take a look at his walkway coming up over here. It's nice, man. It's nice. All the stairs and everything makes it easier to get up here. It kind of keeps everything out, right? Instead of just a regular wall. Big behemoth gate. And that kind of leads down to where our event area will be here soon. So it's nice, man. It's nice. Very nice build. Very large. Kind of wish the horses were out. But like I said, got to keep them put away safe whenever you're not around. 
On to the next one. A little bit of a storm going on. It is the next morning. Our next base is over here, kind of in between the two snow areas that we have on the map. Kind of see us up there at the top left. Go ahead and land over here. Looks like we got a nice gate set up. I'll tell you what, it's another area that's not exactly safe. There's some muties down here. There's a bunch of Carnos. Looks like we got some Stegos, some Spinos outside. Let's start right over here. We have a snowstorm, man. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> so, this is a little hatchery, it looks like. Got our generator set up. We got some Raptors in here. Our usual equipment, the Soul Terminal and the Incubator. Again, the floor to ceiling windows. Big fan, big fan, I like it. Nice little room, man. Kinda keeps everything safe when you're trying to do your breeding, you know? And then you have all this land out here for the bigger creatures. Kinda lead them outside with your big gate and everything. It's nice, man, it's nice. This is the barn, let's look up top. I think it's just a landing area for birds, maybe? It is, got a nice couple snow owls up here. How's it going? Like the weather? I'm sure you do. You're a snow owl. It is snowing. I'm just saying, man. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> little feet, man. Tickle them. Little bat sticking through. Let's see what we got inside over here. Quite a bit of stuff, man. We got some stegos in here. We got the trikes. We have our little stable set up. I like it. Looks a little bit better than just having a plain open floor, you know? Have the little stables and stuff. I usually use... The railings, they turn them into kind of like the half walls and stuff. I like the railings better, though. Kind of looks kind of looks good, right? Having it kind of open still. But we've got the bat. We've got a little bulb dog. We've got a little chair. Looks like we've got some thylas. We've got some parasers. A little bit of everything. Nice, man. Nice. Big enough for all kinds of stuff in here. I like the bats, too. It's tall enough ceiling to hang your bats without having them kind of get in the way when you're walking by. Hopefully, I didn't disturb you. I'm just saying... We got our spinos. We got one of the X version of the trikes over here. That is kind of crazy with the colors. What is wrong with your colors? Never seen one like that. He might have painted it too. Or it might be like that. I don't know. Is that a shiny one? Not too sure. Doesn't say it's a shiny. Interesting. This is the workshop. Nice. Again, nice big open room. Plenty of space in here. You can fly your bird in. Offload all of your materials and whatnot. Again, what is this? That might be part of Eco's pack. I'll have to look, man. It's kind of neat. I like having that different stuff kind of set around, you know? We got another generator. We've got all of our storage and crafting benches. I like it, man. I like it. Nice, big, open areas. Hello, hello, hello. There is the owner right there. It's nice, man. Nice, nice, big, open area for everything. Got a theory outside, too. The good thing about being over here is all the harvesting and stuff, right? Plenty of stuff around here to grab. Makes life a little bit easier. We've got the... Is that another building up there? It's not strange. But you got the waterfalls too, man. I kind of like the snow and the climate. However, on to the next one. Our next one on the list is another very, very large build. I think this is another one that hit the build limit cap on it. We've got a lovely little greenhouse up there. Let's take a look at the greenhouse first, man. You can tell it's kind of separated from the rest of the place. Easy, buddy. Easy. I know, man. Have it stretch your wings all day. Kind of different having it up here, too. Need a, uh, need a set of stairs, man. Just saying. Very, very large greenhouse. Wait, is this the... Nice! Tech teleporter to get up to it. I like it, I like it. We got the hatchery up here. It's nice for having birds and stuff. Nice open. I like the roof up here. Kind of like the, the whole little, kind of like tiki style, right? Where you got the open and then it's closed in at the bottom. How do we get inside there? I might be just blocked off, right? Oh, <laughs> it's another it's another set of doors. Look, man, look. Again, a lot of these bases I haven't been into yet. It's kind of a first time for me, too. We've got our refrigerator. We've got all of our gardener and stuff. we got our, kind of like our cooker in here as well. Make a lot of your kibble and stuff. Plenty of crops, man. I like it. The beehive. Like I said, you got to have a beehive inside your greenhouses. Nice build, though. I wonder if there's other stuff planned for up top or if that's just used for hatching and stuff. For, like, having your dodos and stuff like that for kibble. Might be what that's for. Not too sure, but I do like it. We just gotta... We gotta work on the stairs. Gotta get some stairs up here. Let's take a look at the main house. Another one that has some paint and stuff on it. I really need to start painting my stuff. It makes... It makes everything a lot better, right? So this is the Lake Manor. Community vaults. A lot of people have these. You take some stuff, you leave some stuff. You got something you want, you grab it. Something you don't want, drop it off. 
It's the way it goes. Get everything so sorted out in folders as well. A lot of it is stuff to help out a lot of our new members. Everybody has stuff kind of set up to where you can get a little bit of an easier start. Fjordor is a hard map to start on, man. We've got a... Okay. We've got a <laughs> Shadow Main there. Got some more teams outside here. Looks like we've got some beer barrels as well. I like it. Junior! I'm just saying, you either got to be inside or outside. You can't be half and half. It's not the way it works, man. Not the way it works. Stuck on the tail. Got stuck on the tail! That's the one thing I don't like is on, uh... Creatures like Gigas and Rex and whatnot. When they're small, their hitbox is still big, right? Ah, dude, nice and big opening too. So we got a bunch of sheep over here. Looks like we got our little stables and stuff. Little guy, it's all kind of halfway. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. The Argentavis are trying to shove them out of the way, so they got more room. I see how it is. I see how it is. We've got our forge over here. Some more beer and stuff like that. Our nanny. We've got our resources and stuff. Another way to get outside. I like it. Nice view. Nice view. Good way to see the sunset. I'm just saying. I like how the whole place isn't painted either, right? It's just the one level. And then the rest is wood. I like it, man. I like it. That way it's not one huge, big painted room, right? We've got a bunch of our soul terminals. Personal room. We will not go in there. It's kind of nice how it's tucked back out of the way. We've got our refrigerator and stuff like that. Our cooker. Nice windows to see outside. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, we got some feather raptors up there. I didn't even see those when we were outside. We got some sheep, too. I'm guessing that's all for production reasons. Po probably. Most likely. I just want to take a look. We're going to do it the proper way. Nice, man. Nice. Again, the painted ceilings. I like it. I like it. Which way do we come up? I got lost in here when they were building. Ah, oh, I remember this. Ah, oh, that is fantastic. I was wondering what was it going to be turned into out here, right? We've got the whole table set up and everything like that for eating. I'll tell you, man, all these all these meals people are making for us. That's nice, though. It's nice and open, man. I like it. Utility room. I'm guessing the generator. Yep. Nice, man. Nice. Nice and tucked away. Got a light in there, too. You always want to be able to see when you're working on your equipment. I'm just saying. We got some more of our chemistry bench and stuff up here. We got our wrecks out here. We were just over here, right? We were. Kind of looks out the side over here, too. We got one more level, right? Do we have anything else? I think we came up over there. Fireplace? I like it. I like it. Oh, we got one on both sides, too. And you got some doors. With your chair to sit outside. It's nice, man. Nice! Oh, I like it. Very, very nice build. I think we did the whole thing, too, right? We did. Interesting. That's from all of the pieces underneath, right? It is. It looks good up there. And that's all that matters, right? Looks very, very good. I mean, it doesn't look bad up here, too. I would put, like, a... Oh, if we had, like, a big bonfire you could put up here... Oh, that would look fantastic, man. Nice big roaring fire and stuff. Might be in one of the mod packs we'll be doing here soon, too. I like it, man. Cool. On to the next build. So this next build is actually just right above that one we were at in Vanaheim over there. Very close neighbors. We're built kind of on a waterfall. Kind of a neat location, man. I do like the waterfall in the water. Got a nice bridge going across. Let's start right here on the side. See how that's what's first. Up the doors, the doors. Nice little generator room. We got our refrigerator as well and our gardener. We got the greenhouse. You got some natural flowers poking through. I like it. We got a bunch more crops. It's nice, man. It's nice. It's small. It's just enough stuff. I do like how the crop plots aren't just attached to the side like I do. They're actually up on kind of like little pillars. I think those are doorways, right? What are those? Yeah, double door frames. Interesting. Nice design, man. Spaces them out just right. And then you got the glass underneath so that they actually get the light all the way through, right? Kind of weird. So it's solid from up here. And then you can see through right there. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Never noticed that, but it's pretty neat, man. Nice little greenhouse. Especially with the natural flowers. All right, let's go over here to the main part of the base. Looks like we got some Rex outside guarding. We've got some dragons as well. A couple of each flavor, looks like. We've got some fire ones. We've got an ice one down there. I don't see any lightning ones. I think they're just fire 
And ice ones. Nice, man. Nice. Let's do... Let's start down here. Is this a wall? Or just a building? Oh, it's a wall. Okay. I was wondering where the rest was, but <laughs> you don't really need it. It's the entrance, man. It's the entrance. Looks nice. Nice design on it. Let's back up so we can see. We got the plant species up top, and we got a couple tier systems up there, too. Kind of like it. It's different than just a regular wall and a door. You know what I mean? Over here, we got our main part of the base, it looks like. Let's find the door. Try to go in proper. Gravestone for one of his teams. I like the tables outside. This is another one that is built kind of into the terrain. Kind of interesting because, like, these, right? It's one of the flowers that hang outside, and it moves all the time. So it's not really stationary. It kind of sways a little bit. So it's definitely different. Big enough for to have some dragons inside. We got the Maywing as well. We've got our hatchery. We've got the monkey that's guarding everything. I like it. Terrifying, but I like it. Our fabricator as well. This just goes to the outside, right? It does. A little landing platform. I like it. Oh, launch platform for the Maywing too. Get out here. Bounce. You can kind of fly all over the whole realm from right here. Got some bats hanging from the ceiling. I do like the tall ceilings because there are bats all on this map, right? And let's... How do we get back up? I want to go the proper way so we don't miss stuff. Maybe that goes down. Let's look out here real quick. I think we have to go up to go down. We've got a griffin up top here. I like it. I like it. There's the owner right there. We've got a unicorn. We've got our forges and stuff like that. A bunch of Sinnohs. I like it. The cage. Not too sure what that's for. We will leave that alone. But it's kind of where the plant kind of comes up and goes across, right? A couple different ways. Let's go up here first. We got the bed. We've got one of the... I forget how you pronounce your name. <laughs> one of those birds, man. They're nice, though. They're nice. They're kind of cool. I like how the skin pattern is on their faces. Bunch of soul terminals. We've got our crafting benches. The Shine Horns, you gotta have the Shine Horns, man. Boy, I tell you what, if you don't have Shine Horns, are you really an Ark player? Outside here, we got the stairs that go back down. Is that it? I thought there was more in this one. I think it's this one. That's the one that has the other tower on it, okay? Let's continue on. Again, this is one that I was over here when he started building it, and it's changed a little bit. A lot of pieces, though, man. Oh, dude, a lot of pieces to build around stuff, you know? Like this. Kind of nice. We've got our... It's kind of like a little covered area. I like it. I like it. We've got our beds and stuff up here. And then we got back here. Kind of blocked off a little bit. So we had some problems with the collision too, right? Whenever he was building this. The plant, like right here, we're hitting the collision. Even though the plant's not right here. It kind of messed up his build a little bit, how he was trying to do it. But it looks like he worked around it, kind of blocking it off. I like it, man. Got the loadout mannequin too for putting your stuff into. And then the roof, too. I'll tell you what, it is hard to do a roof sometimes with the different angles and stuff. But it looks like he got that kind of sorted out, too. And then here is some more of the issues with the the collision. Ah, oh, man, I wish a collision actually matched the plant. Because it would be a fantastic build. I mean, it still is, but at least he wouldn't have that problem with the, the plant collision, right? I'm kind of curious what goes down over here. Ah, oh, dude, another breeding area. I like it. Again, the builds on the side of cliffs are just, they're fantastic, man. You can do so much stuff with them. We've got a ton of the Maywings. Is that a shiny one? It's got the Christmas hat on still. I think it is. And we've got our, ooh, a lot of eggs in there. We've got our generator again. A Perlovia. Boy, I tell you what. Better be lucky, man. You're over there and I'm over here. I'm just saying. It's a good guard dog. I like it, though, man. I like it. Very nice build, especially with it being in the, in the light right there, right? Let's fly out over here. Show you how it looks from the side. You get a ton of light at nighttime too, right? With the plant the way it is. Interesting. Definitely a different build, man. I like it. I like it. Let's get over here and try not to... Ooh, please don't drop me, Wingman. We're using Wingman Wait today and not Wingman 7. And then we've got up top here. Did I miss... I did. I missed another set of stairs. So many different ways to go. Nope, we were up here. I think he just uses his wingman to fly up to drop the griffin off. I thought there were some stairs, and we've got a rock drake up here. Nice, man. Nice. Very, very nice and different build. I like it. I like it. Let's land over here, preferably on land. And on to the next one. 
Now our next build is a work in progress. She's only been on the server a couple days, but I tell you what, the amount of progress she has made on this, holy crap, dude, is a lot. It is right by our community center, so it's kind of nice. Anybody stops by here and needs some help, her house is right here. The amount of detail on this one is crazy. There's a lot of stuff I'm seeing that people do with the catwalks and the trophies. Some I've never messed with, but it looks awesome in the rope ladders too. Lot of detail on the roof and stuff. I like it, man. I like it. Ah, oh, dude. Again, don't forget, this is still a work in progress, so everything is not finished, but I wanted to stop and take a look. I do like the tall ceilings, and something I'm starting to really, really like on the base builds is the stone on the bottom and wood on the top. It, it looks fantastic, man. It's definitely a different contrast, right? We've got a very large room in here. We've got two campfires down. I like that. I really wish we had a big, kind of like a bonfire mod, right? To put big bonfires and stuff, but that definitely works. We've got, oh, is that a micro raptor? Dude, look. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, man. Seeing micro raptors or seeing the penguins. Is that Lily? That is Lily. She warned, warned me about Lily. I thought Lily would be a penguin. It's a micro raptor. Is it a micro raptor? I don't know if that is. That might be one of the other things. That's not a micro raptor. That's one of the, the wingman, right? The the, the pre wingman wingman. Not too sure. I need to take a look at my dinos. Not sure what it is. It is terrifying though. I like how it's got its own little chair up there. We've got a bear up there. Another part of the eco's mod. We've got our lovely seating area here for meals and whatnot. I like it. I like it. Storage and whatnot. I like these. It kind of adds to just the regular pillar. Somebody lost a Megalodon. Oh, dude. Interesting. That was a high level one, too. But it adds something different than the just normal pillar, right? Different texture and stuff. Same with over here. Oh, I can't wait to see what she has in store for this whenever it's done. What are these? Oh, she's going to put some of the taxidermy stuff up there. Interesting. I like it. I like it. Moving on. We got our war drums back here, and looks like another door going out. It is. Nice little area out here. We got a crop plot. Probably put some stuff out there. I think these aren't to be climbed on. They're just for looks, right? Add different stuff to the uh, outside of the base. I like it, man. Oh, dude, like I said, this is another one that we will definitely revisit once she gets more done. And out here is another little storage area. Sleeping. You're sleeping standing up. It's terrifying. Extremely, extremely terrifying. I am just saying we need to get you a bed. I will see what I can do. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Nice build, man. Very excited to see what this is going to turn out to. And like I said, man, it's right here at the community center, too. So it's kind of a kind of a good location, right? Kind of fits right in on the, the trail that kind of leads out here. I think this is where that room was. I was wondering what was going to be inside. I like that, too. Nice, man. Nice. All right, we got one more for the day to take a look at. And then we'll have to do the rest in the next video. Where is my bag? Did I leave it somewhere? It is. It's over here. Sorry, buddy. Kind of left you there. One more, and then we'll have to do the rest in the next video. So many houses, so little time. For this next build, we are over here in Asgard. Fantastic location up on a mountain. It kind of overlooks where the shadow mains are. So you have the shadow mains over here, and then you have the rest of the map, like the redwoods over here. Kind of neat, man. It's a good way to get up here is you can use a thyla and climb right up this side. As you can see, he's got his stairway. It is wide enough for your thyla. Let's go ahead and just land right up here. This one is made of all glass. It's kind of cool, man. I like it. A little bit of tint on it and stuff so you don't feel like you're falling or walking on air. As you come in, massive room, dude. Oh, there is so much glass in here, but plenty of room for all your stuff. Again, we have the feasts waiting for us. I like it, man. I like it. This one is all made of purple, mainly. We've got some loot. We've got some of our crafting stuff. We've got some of our taxidermy for Hadean Skull. We're crafting a couple sets of tech sleeping pods. I need to get some of these made, man. They're kind of nice. I like them. A lot more storage. We've got, I think, a generator in here. Ooh. It is locked. Let's not try to open it. I think that's a generator, though. Or maybe it's just a secret storage. I don't know. We'll have to see. We've got a lot of our soul terminals and stuff. Does a lot of breeding and whatnot. Same with over here, we got a bunch of refrigerators for farming, for taming, our way for cooking stuff. We got a bunch of the plants out here. I really like how they're up against the glass. Again, the well, it's not just floor to ceiling glass. It's like a whole room of glass. <laughs> but I like how these are kind of sitting just off to one side. One big crop plot all the way around. 
And we had a little bit of lag there. Tell you what, I teleported. <laughs> it happens, man. It's nice, though. Your greenhouse is kind of all in here, tied in with stuff. And then over here, on the other side... We've got our breeding area. So the thing about this over here is it's kind of open, right? You have these sides are open, and then you got plenty of airflow. I'm telling you what, all these teams in here, you definitely want the air to flow through. Don't want that stagnant air, man. We got some megatheriums, a ton of those. We got some more shadowmines, which look fantastic. Ah, oh, dude, the colors, man. It's the colors. These. Huge fan. Huge fan of the purple and the blue. They might go missing. I'm just saying, if they are, just know that they are well taken care of, okay? We've got some theories over here. We've got a few wrecks. Yep, I am talking about you. Again, the colors, man. Ah, dude, a lot of people are getting into color breeding, which is fantastic. I like that. I like that a lot. We got some of you guys that are very annoying to tame. However, look kind of cool. We've got our Giga, we've got some bats, and we've got some Thylas. A little Argentavis, too. Kind of crazy colors. Don't look at me like that. Yep, crazy colors. But it's nice, man. Very nice. You got all your eggs and stuff right here in the middle. You got your hatchery, a little bit of food, a feed trough, and you have your soul terminal. Nice build, man. Super easy to get around. Like I said, you've got pretty much everything around here. The cool part is, if you launch off over here, you can run and jump, and with your wingman, make it almost all the way over to the obelisk. I know we have the teleportation system, but sometimes you want to go out by going through the normal teleporter, and you can make it almost all the way over there. Good look of the whole area up here, too, man. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. I've been waiting to see everybody's bases for a long time. This is only part one of the base builds. We have another part with, I think, ten, nine or ten more builds. And it's just a lot of houses, man. I love seeing them, though. That is the best part about being on a server, and I wish I would have done this a long time ago because playing single player, you don't get to see everybody else's designs and stuff. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the base build, and thanks for everybody that let me come in, film your base, and see all your designs. I really like it, man. I really, really do. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.